Welcome back. All right, it's your opportunity to experience many cultures from across the world without having to leave the first coast. Brent Fine, a special events manager with the city of Jacksonville, and Adwibaje Davis is with African Village of World of Nations. And this is Barbara Davis, who's joining <laughs> me and doing this interview with me. How you doing? Good? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate you guys being here. Thank you. Thank and you. thanks for letting me borrow the, your daughter for a second. That's okay. Thank you. So World of Nations, it's an annual event, and yeah. it just gets bigger and better every year. Yeah, we're in our 27th year uh, at Metropolitan Park right here in the sports complex. And um, it's an experience, a cultural experience, that you can come to the park, experience 33 different cultures and countries without even leaving the first coast. This is awesome. And where, uh, which country you represent again? We are going to be, I'm part of the African village. I'm okay. representing Ghana, but we are part of the African village and we have five different African countries. Very cool. And one of the best parts about it is the, the costumes, the food, uh, the camaraderie, kind of the, the sharing and, and mixing of nations. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so when you show up, you can experience a little bit of each culture. Um, you'll see the wares, you'll get to taste the food, um, and each country has an education component, so you can learn more about each country when you go. What, is, what do events like this mean for you, you know, being over in the States and living in the city here, but a chance to really celebrate your culture? It's most, uh, very nourishing. One of the best things we do, or for me personally, is uh, sharing my culture. And with the field trip days on Fridays, where the children will get to learn uh, something about where I come from. Uh, the educational part of it is the most important besides the entertainment and then the food and the, you know, come with your dancing shoes yes. and your taste buds. Yes, that's yes. right, because uh, you do the uh, kind of like a carnival parade around the, mm -hmm. the circle still? Yeah, so on Sunday um, we'll have the Parade of Flags, which each country will go around the entire park with their flag. It's been expanded um, and um, you can dance and get a little bit of uh, taste of each culture. <laughs> this is awesome. So uh, as far as um, food, what are, what are, what is your favorite, do you have a favorite food, Barbara? <laughs> really? Say okay. Just food. <laughs> just food, just any food? Um, all right, so how do, let's, uh, let's go over the details. Uh, this weekend, how do people get in? What are yep. the, how do they get So tickets? it's uh, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, gates open at 10 a.m. both days. Um, you can purchase your tickets um, online in advance um, at jacksworldofnations.com, or you can purchase them at the gate. Tickets are $5. Uh, children three and under are free. Do you know how many different countries you have this year? 30? Or 33. 33? Yeah. Yes. How many represented in the African village? Five different countries. Which ones? We have Ghana, Nigeria, Morocco, yes. South Africa, and Ethiopia. All right, Morocco's, yeah. my, Morocco's uh, a personal favorite of mine because my wife and I went there uh, for a couple weeks. So um, okay. there in Egypt are the, the only African countries I've been. So okay. I'll have to see the others. Sure. Yeah. Come You're on welcome. out. Come on out. That's the best part. You can come to this and you can see all the countries right yep. here in Jacksonville. Yes. That's exactly yes. right. Yes. Appreciate you guys being here. Babs, thanks for hosting with me. Thank you, <laughs> buddy. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> She's awesome. All right, you can get another look at this segment as well as details about this event on our website, firstcoastliving.net, and we'll post it in just a little while.